Hey Gemini, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Info about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, you can check out the description box below. Also, the links to all my socials, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Or you can also visit my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. Okay? To all my new viewers, welcome. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and do your reading. What do we have for you today? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love. The King of Wands. The Four of Wands. The Devil. The King of Pentacles. Um, temperance. The Eight of Cups. The Four of Cups, the Lovers, the Tower, the Knight of Swords. <laughs> I think Gemini, you're going to love this. King of Cups, now you have three kings on the table. And the Fool. All right, this is so far, by far, the the very positive energy I feel for you. And we have the Five of Swords. So you've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of um, mental gymnastics, a lot of mental activities, yeah? And that could be good, especially if you're thinking about what's good for you. You make decisions based on um, uh, relative to where you're standing, relative to... Um, a place where you know you don't compromise too much that um, you become unhappy and that's good and I feel that in this connection there could have been um, several mind uh, mental activities that you've had with this person the one that you're thinking about yeah in the past it seems like there's been some negotiation whether it be verbal or just through um, timid actions I could see that so there could be some um, expression of of desires or feelings but not not always verbal yeah and um, it feels like both parties here are trying to be more um, um, observant of the other party's intentions and, and things like that yeah but coming into this reading I feel that in this connection Gemini um, I feel that you, you still have passion, you still have desire, you still have eagerness towards this person. Mm -hmm. Prim primarily, you may have um, whatever you've done in the past. It feels like, yeah, you've probably tried to move on, to, to be on your own, to spend time just by yourself doing some introspection. But... Um, well, during this time frame, I still can see that um, you still have passion for this person. You still love this person. And perhaps this one never really left your mind. Yeah. Although there could have been some uh, mind games in the past. There could be some distance coming back together. Distant again. And, you know, that pull and push kind of energy. Yeah not wanting to give more uh, because you don't want to be in a compromised position, for instance. But along the process, um, there is uh, some sort of um, openness from you, from desire perspective, passion, um, at the same time, wanting to see where things would go. And if you know, if you put effort into it, will it, um, this time, will it bring you to a rather more successful front? Yeah, that's what I see. And um, although you've been trying to pull out, perhaps from this connection, it it got you keep coming back, for instance. Yeah, that, that's what I see. Yeah, you may not have fully detached. Yeah, 
you've detached verbally or in, in communication wise but in spirit in mind and in feelings you're still there i feel that the person that you're dealing with um this is someone gemini who may have left you who may have um left the connection in the past and um it feels like they are now starting to rethink their decision they're starting to see did they do the right thing you know of of um leaving the connection of turning their back yeah because um for now this is someone who is going through the motion so when you contact them they respond to you they're pretty much available they're making themselves available to you not too available but just on the you know the process the day-to-day -day process of of um being together if there is a, a chance to do that um perhaps even in communication this person is is pretty much opening up and uh like i said they're rethinking about their decision of walking away mm -hmm. because so far there seemed to be um good progression in terms of you relating to one another so in the past, if there wasn't any um, constant communication, somehow during this time frame, things are, are pretty much moving into a positive direction. You may, start, you may have started um, talking. You may have started um, relating to each other um, more and more. Yeah, Not sure about consistency, but there is some form of progression that this person could actually visualize um, you know, having that fun, uh, comfortable space in relating with you, yeah. And um, I feel like this person, Gemini, is wanting to get back together, yeah, because they can f still feel this connection. And it feels like um, they could feel that maybe you don't really, um, you may be available in, in discussions, talking, going out, and things like that. But in terms of your emotional investment, it may not be very apparent to this person as of this time frame. But I feel strongly that um, they feel this connection with you. And it feels like whatever has happened here, it made this person realize how deep the connection you've had with them as well as um, them towards you yeah and i feel that they're really thinking rethinking about getting back coming back together or something like that in the immediate future i see that there's going to be that um, sudden event unexpected communication coming your way somebody will bring you a message a message for clarity a message of truth a message of um um, that's coming from the authentic part, yeah, authentic side of your person. And what is that about? It's about um, usually what would the King of Cups talk about, yeah? <laughs> um, it's about a, a, I feel that the message, this is the King of Cups and um, the Fool, yeah? So it's about... Um, I feel that the message is about um, starting a new phase, yeah, taking that leap of faith, but this time it's coming from a rather more emotional uh, side, but a stable, yeah, stable one, a stable expression of emotions, no longer wishy-washy, no longer, um, you wouldn't feel any more indecisiveness. Yeah, if there has been one in the past. Because this right here is someone who is capable of expressing how they feel and what they want at the current moment and what they want in the future. And it feels like that involves taking a new leap of faith into this connection. But rather coming from a, a emotionally balanced space. Yeah? A mature uh, side of this person. You've got three kings here. What more can I say? yeah <laughs> so something is coming and it feels like i'm not sure if you would want this but uh I, I i feel that you do yeah i feel that you do that um i feel that you've tried yeah you've been on the outs with this person for a while you've been on your own for a while you've been um 
doing a lot of things in terms of your um, stability, finances, and things like that. Um, and you've probably tried to push this connection uh, in your mind, you know, at the back of your mind. It wasn't at the forefront, but then it's always been there. Yeah, it never left. And this time there's action towards you, communication, and somebody is wanting to start to take a new leap of faith. A beautiful one if you still want this. Yeah. Um, let me know if this resonates with you in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If it doesn't, Gemini, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. And um, I do have those readings in my channel. Check those out too. Bye, Gemini.